Hello and welcome to the shop. Today's video is going to be an experiment just to see what happens. Now, if you've been following along, you know that I've been taking bottle caps and putting them on tubes and casting them in Alumalite. The other day I got a little bit of, see that white and a little bit of haze there? Now that doesn't hurt anything because when I turn this down, it's still relatively clear. I can polish it up and it looks amazing. What happened the other day is this. Now I don't know if my resin's getting old. I don't know if I maybe introduced some moisture into the pressure pot through the compressor. Uh, I'm not really sure what happened, but that is another bottle cap blank. And I spend a lot of time prepping those caps uh, and making these blanks and I really hate to lose them. So I've got one and I turned it all the way down. You can see the Kickapoo bottle cap in there. I turned it all the way down on the bushings and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna drop it into a jar of acetone. And I'm just gonna let it sit overnight and soak. My hope is that the acetone will, will uh, dissolve the resin. I know it's also gonna take the paint off the tube, but I'm not worried about that. I don't know what it's gonna do to the bottle cap. But my hope is, if this works, my hope is that it doesn't affect the bottle cap and I can take that cap, repaint the tube, slide it back on and recast it once I figure out what the heck I'm doing wrong. <laughs> so bear with me. I'll come back. We're going to go put this in the acetone. We'll come back af after 24 hours. We'll take another look at it and we'll see if this process is going to work and save my bottle caps so that I can save a little time and recast whenever I make a mistake and do this. I've got my acetone in a jar and I use this for uh, cleaning off my spatula when I cast. So what I'm going to do is just very carefully, I don't want to splash because I hate getting this stuff on me. I'm just going to pop this down in here like this. I'm going to put the top on the acetone. You can see I have it marked so I always know what it is. And we're just going to let that set and see what happens to that tube. I thought I was going to have to wait 24 hours, but I took a look at my blank and it looks like it's already starting to separate the resin from the blank. So I thought I'd pull it out of the, let's see if we got something here to work with. I pulled it out of the, uh, there we go, the, um, oh nice, nice. Look at this. This is perfect. And grab it with the paper towel. I don't want to dry it off a little bit. Sorry if I pulled it out of frame there. It looks like everything is coming loose and it's not affecting the uh, bottle cap. So what I'm going to do is put in a little bit longer. There's some resin behind the bottle cap and there's still some resin on the side here. So I'm just going to drop it back in. I'm going to let it soak a little bit longer. I think this may actually work and this will be nice because with putting that much effort into a blank, I really hate to lose it. So we'll come back and check on that again in an hour or so. I'm really happy with how this worked out. I came back out in the shop later in the day and I pulled the blank out of the acetone and I was able by hand to slide my bottle cap right off. And the bottle cap is completely undamaged. You can see the interior of it. There's no resin left in there, no paint. It's ready to go on a new tube. Unfortunately, I did not have my camera on for that. There was still a little bit of resin left on the tube, so I dropped it back into the acetone, and it looks like we got one, whoa, we got one little spot right there. Let me get a grip on that thing. We got one little spot of resin right there, and there you go, it's coming right off. So we'll just rinse it, get a paper towel, and this tube, as far as I'm concerned, once it dries completely, uh, can be repainted and I'll be able to recast this uh, bottle cap blank. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm super excited that I was able to recover my cap uh, completely unharmed, completely undamaged, and it's ready to be uh, applied to another tube. Uh, I took a look at the tube and it is absolutely spotless, clean as a whistle, and uh, I'll shoot a little paint on this later today and we'll get that one put back together. I, I can't believe this worked. This has been a great test for me. Uh, and it means a lot to me because I have got a couple of really nice blanks left here as well as a couple of my earlier casts that didn't turn out. And uh, when I leave this video, I'm going straight to that acetone and we're going to clean the, uh, the resin off of all of them. So we'll be recasting them again real soon. I really appreciate you joining me in the shop today. 
Thank you so much. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon. and Have a great evening, everybody.